असलम स्टूडेंट्स बिफोर गोइंग टू आवर एजुकेशनल टॉपिक प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल मुंतजर मेहदी साइंस टी वी ऑन यूट्यूब प्रेस द लाइक बटन एंड शेयर दिस लेक्चर टू योर फ्रेंड्स एंड क्लासमेट हु हैव नो एक्सेस टू इट टू एड इन दियर साइंस एजुकेशन एंड दो स्टूडेंट्स डेट आर रिपेयरिंग प्राइवेटली कैन बेनिफिट फ्राम आवर चैनल वेरी अफेक्टिवली लेट्स कम बैक टू आवर टॉपिक दैट इज अलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट चेन द अलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट चेन इज ए ब्रीफ बायो केमिकल वे ऑफ रिपोर्टिंग डिस्क्राइबिंग ए केमिकल रिएक्शन इन विच ए डोनर मालिक्यूल ए डोनर कंपाउंड ट्रांसमिट्स इट्स ए पेयर ऑफ अलेक्ट्रॉन्स टू एन एक्सेप्टर टू एन अप होल्डर इन द प्रीसेंस ऑफ एन इंजाइम इन सिंपल वर्ड वी कैन ऑल्सो से दैट द इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट चेन इज ए सेट ऑफ इंजाइम विच इज प्रेजेंट ऑन द इनर माइटोकॉन्ड्रियल मेम्रेन एंड इट इज द मेन सोर्स ऑफ इनर्जी जनरेशन इन द एरोबिक पाथवे ऑफ इनर्जी प्रोडक्शन Now let's we come towards the steps of electron transport chain that how we will produce ATP from ETC basically it is very very simple methods during which NADH2 is come to function that is formed during Krebs cycle by the combination of NAD ion and hydrogen ion students now memorize this important point in your minds that we have to make ATP from NADH2 during electron on transport chain shortly called etc so the main job of nadh2 is to transfer hydrogen ion to the respiratory chain from this hydrogen ion we have to withdraw an important thing that is the electron this electron is transported to a series of chemical reactions that is known as oxidation reduction reactions the definition of oxidation and reduction is as when an electron is removed or taken out from a substance then it is oxidized but when this electron is added or taken into a specific substance then it is known as reduced so the movement of electron is itself a process is set up that is known as oxidation reduction reactions so ultimately this electron reacts with a molecular oxygen to give us water and atp this is the complete idea of etc during which we have to synthesize water and atp now you have to make your full attention to this step by step series of chemical reactions during which at first we have nadh2 from this nadh2 we took two hydrogen ions and provided it to the respiratory chain from this hydrogen ions electrons are removed and protons are also separated again see from this nadh2 two hydrogen ions are removed from these hydrogen ions electrons are separated and protons are also separated now we have to move these electrons through a series of chemical reactions known as etc by oxidation reduction reactions now we see the components of respiratory chain for which the question is what are the components of etc and from which it is made the first component of etc is coenzyme q second component is cytochromes that are present in a series of components named as cytochrome b cytochrome c cytochrome a and cytochrome a3 at the end takes part molecular oxygen so by the combination of all these three things collectively the electron transport chain will synthesize The electron transport chain is very very simple topic and its mechanism is also very very easy to understand but you have to do only this you keep your attention to this whiteboard topic let's come back to our topic as we have these four cytochromes that are b c a and a3 now the question is what are these cytochromes these cytochromes are electron transporting compounds because during etc the compounds which will transport the electrons would be cytochromes which contain heme group in the center like hemoglobin this heme group relate to prosthetic group their valency changes due to the presence of iron group so by the movement of electrons i mean by the addition or removal of electrons the valency of ferrous or iron chains that is present in the heme group so we can say that cytochrome heme is quite similar to hemoglobin heme hemoglobin heme is oxygen carrier 
कैरियर वेयर एज साइटोक्रोम हीम इज इलेक्ट्रोन कैरियर ड्यूरिंग ई टी सी सो बोथ आर सिमिलर ड्यू टू द प्रीसेंस ऑफ हीम ग्रुप द साइटोक्रोम्स एंड हेमोग्लोब बोथ पोजेस डिफरेंट कैरियर बट देयर वेलेंसी चेंज सिमिलरली Now we will draw the electron transport chain respectively. See here is low and here is high level of energy. Here is present NADH2 which converts to NAD ion itself in the presence of an enzyme NADH dehydrogenase that removes hydrogen from NADH. From these hydrogen ions then electrons are taken out and protons are also separated. Now these separated electrons will transfer and move through the complete electron transport chain in such a way that when NADH2 will give the electrons to the coenzyme Q then because of giving the electrons NADH2 is oxidized whereas coenzyme Q will be reduced after that coenzyme Q will pass its electrons next to the cytochrome B coenzyme Q will be oxidized and cytochrome B will be reduced because by giving and donating the electrons coenzyme Q will be oxidized and by receiving the electrons cytochrome B will be reduced then cytochrome B will pass its electrons to the cytochrome C so now cytochrome B will be oxidized by donating the electrons and cytochrome C will be reduced by receiving the electrons now it will give its electrons next to the cytochrome A it will be oxidized and cytochrome A will be reduced which then passes its electron next to the cytochrome A3 which itself is oxidizing and reducing the cytochrome A3 finally cytochrome A3 transfers its electron to the molecular oxygen साइटोक्रोम ए थ्री इज इट सेल्फ ऑक्सीडाइज वेयर एज ऑक्सीजन मालिक्यूल इज रिड्यूज अंडरस्टैंड दैट इन दिस होल सीरीज देर इज हैपनिंग ऑक्सीडेशन रिडक्शन रिएक्शन इन अदर वर्ड रिडॉक्स रिएक्शन नाउ नोट दिस इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट वेन एन ए डी एच टू इज कन्वर्टेड टू एन ए डी आइन एंड रिलीज इज द टू हाइड्रोजन आइन्स एंड टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स देन इट ऑल्सो रिलीज इज सम एनर्जी इन सच अमाउंट दैट दिस एनर्जी is utilized for the combination of adp2 inorganic phosphate this combination results in the formation of atp so first atp molecule is synthesized in between the nadh2 and coenzyme q so when electrons are passed to the next cytochrome b then next cytochrome c then energy of the electrons is again lowered and it is again utilized in the formation of adp2 inorganic phosphate to synthesize size atp now here become two atps now these same electrons are transferred to cytochrome c to cytochrome a to cytochrome a3 showing oxidation reduction reactions so finally when these electrons are transferred from cytochrome a3 to molecular oxygen that is highly electronegative molecule when this oxygen receives these electrons then it combines with those protons that we have withdrawn from the two hydrogen ions we have not forgotten them but these are utilized to combine with this oxygen so that we will obtain a water molecule so when electrons reduce the oxygen by combining it then again high energy is released that is utilized to combine adp2 inorganic phosphate which will prepare a third atp molecule so students now we have seen that from one molecule of nadh2 we obtain three atp molecules as you can see first second and third atp molecule so we can conclude that from one etc repeat we get three atps students from this simple electron transport chain you can easily write its theory in your own words and also your numbers will not cut during annual examination because when you write the theory of a chain or a cycle in your own words then it will gain more attention of the examiners
एंड यू कैन अचीव मैक्सिम मार्क्स इट इज माई इंकरेजमेंट फॉर यू टू डे सो कमिंग बैक टू आवर चेन एन ए डी एच इज ऑक्सीडाइज टू एन ए डी आइन बाई को इंजाइम क्यू बाई गिविंग और डोनेटिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन टू को इंजाइम क्यू दिस को इंजाइम क्यू एक्सेप्ट दीज इलेक्ट्रॉन दिस ऑक्सीडेशन रिडक्शन रिएक्शन रिलीज इज इनफ अमाउंट ऑफ इनर्जी फॉर द कन्वर्जन ऑफ ए डी पी प्लस इन ऑर्गेनिक फॉसफेट टू ए टी पी नेक्स्ट ई टी सी प्रोसेस कंटिन्यूज एंड द को इंजाइम क्यू इज ऑक्सीडाइज बाय द साइटोक्रोम डी विच इज ऑक्सीडाइज बाय द साइटोक्रोम सी इन बिटवीन साइटोक्रोम बी एंड सी अगेन एन ए टी पी मालिक्यूल इज प्रीपेयर बिकॉज इट अगेन रिलीज इज इनफ अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी फॉर द कम्बिनेशन ऑफ ए डी पी प्लस इन ऑर्गेनिक फॉसफेट टू प्रोड्यूस ए टी पी एनर्जी बाय ऑक्सीडेशन प्रोसेस देन साइटोक्रोम सी इज ऑक्सीडाइज बाय साइटोक्रोम ए विच इन टर्न ऑक्सीडाइज बाय साइटोक्रोम ए थ्री बिकॉज साइटोक्रोम ए एंड साइटोक्रोम ए थ्री रिसीव द इलेक्ट्रॉन रिस्पेक्टिवली बाय ऑक्सीडाइज using the cytochrome c it is oxidized and it is reduced so here again enough energy is produced at that time when cytochrome a is oxidized and electrons move towards the cytochrome a3 which then passes these electrons towards the molecular oxygen then by oxidizing the cytochrome a3 and by the reducing of oxygen third atp molecule is generated because the electrons have reached at the bottom of the electron transport chain as i have already told you oxygen is most electronegative atom so it is final acceptor of electrons therefore by the attachment of the oxygen to these electrons and protons this oxygen will synthesize a water molecule as this is a simple and easier form of electron transport chain students it is very very simpler and easy form of electron transport chain for fsc level but if you want to understand the electron transport chain in more detail and with the help of mitochondria and enzyme complexes then you must watch the second part of this electron transport chain video because it is also an important topic that often comes during annual examination so you have no need to revising the theory of the glycolysis krebs cycle and electron transport chain because by understanding all the steps all the cytochromes names coenzyme q and that at where point atp is synthesized from which which point electrons are moved and by understanding which molecule donate the electrons and which molecule accepts these electrons so by understanding all these things you can also write this chain write this mechanism in your own words that becomes very very easy to you so i will not advise you to memorize its theory from the book because it becomes very difficult and often you are forgotten so by understanding all of its steps well you can write this chain in your own words like glycolysis and krebs cycle so keep on study your study very well and thanks for watching this your video